Alright guys, today I'll be showing you how to remove the network lock from all Mobigo phones. So without wasting time, let's begin. Yes, hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to analog this Airtel Mobigo phone so that you can use any network you want. By default, this phone is locked to only Airtel and whenever you try to put any other SIM card like MTN, this is what happens. So today, we are going to try to bypass that so that we can use any network on this phone. And what you should know, this trick works permanently, so there is no worry that whenever you restart your phone, it will, you, have, you have to do the same thing again. Uh, this process does not require a lot of tools, you just have to download this, it's called Mao Meta and I'm going to leave a link in the description for that. Uh, you have to have VCOM drivers installed on your computer so that your device can be recognized easily. Yeah, so just open the software as usual, after opening the interface will look like this. Uh, you have to just follow my steps here. Do not change anything, just use the default settings and continue the process. So after everything is set, just click on the connect button, it's in the right bottom corner and you have to make sure that from there your device is turned off. You just have to turn off your device completely so that you can enter into meta mode. The device will not go into meta mode if it's not turned off as you see. Through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays. And on and on, we'll go. Yeah, so after inserting the USB cable on your computer, you will see the process starting. Uh, and every process will be ticked according to, to its progress. So you have to just wait until it's a hundred percent. And on your phone, you will just observe that it's now in meta mode. Do not press any button at all. After everything is done, it will just show you that it's connected. So from here, just click on the load DB red icon and just click on the from target button. You have to extract the database from the device that is connected. Uh, and from here, if you're not closely, you see that load database successful. That's when you will know that you have succeeded in extracting the database from the device. Yeah. So from there, just go to this section and look for NVRAM editor. It's called NVRAM editor. Yeah. So there are a lot of items here and you don't have to check anything else apart from what we are looking for because if you mess up these things you can eventually break your device and it will cost you a lot to repair it. So just follow my steps here. Do not do anything apart from what we are doing. Uh, so just go on and minimize these items and click on the select select button it's in the top left corner and these check boxes will appear so just go ahead and click on the others hello id and export everything in it if at all anything goes wrong you can use this backup to restore your device to the defaults so this is helpful please always try to backup before you do anything The backup should always have a name and always try to put something you can remember. Maybe if at all anything goes wrong you can just search it up on your computer and get it so quickly. So just put something you can remember quickly. After clicking on the save button you will notice that it's backing up right here down 
Yeah, so just be patient until it's done. After all is done, you have to maximize the other's arrow ID section and just go slowly, slowly. Do not rush, please. Go slowly, slowly and look for somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Just go slowly, slowly, please. Look for something called. It's called S S M L. It's called S M L G B L O B L I D. Please don't change anything else apart from what I'm going to show you, and don't skip anything in this video. So after clicking on that, you will see something like this. Just go at this item. It's called SML log. Just change that number one in the value section and put it to zero. From there, go to the drop down menu and do the same thing. You have to just change that one to zero. Just a simple task. After that, make sure nothing else is changed apart from only those two values. So, after that, go ahead and click on the right button, it's at the top, right here. So just click on that, it will take a few seconds, and after that, it will tell you down in the left bottom corner that one modification has been written. Now just close the NVRAM editor and click on the disconnect button in the right bottom corner. So you will just notice that your device has been disconnected and I plug it from the USB cable and wait. Most of the times it just it just it just boots itself. So just give it some time. And if it doesn't boot, just press the power button and boot it as usual. Alright, so after boot up, you will see that there is no log. Yeah, it may take some time for the network to be registered at first, but it doesn't mean it will not be registered. Yeah, what I know on Mobigo 2L, it takes some time and on Mobigo 2 Plus, it works instantly. So if you go in settings and check, you see we have both networks registered. Yeah. So let me just give it some time for the network to get scanned. So if you are not seeing, you can see that the network MTN has been registered now. Yeah. So give it some time if it's somehow not responding quickly, but it works afterwards, not after like three minutes. Yeah. So now you see MTN is now reading in our phone. Yeah, so basically that's how network unlocking is done guys thank you for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time guys